In the previous videos of this chapter, we have discussed about the cells, tissues and nerves in our body, how internal organs of our body are controlled and coordinated and how reflex action happens in our body. We have discussed about all these topics. In this video, I am going to tell you about coordination in plants. As we have already discussed that the coordination in animals and human body is done by the nervous system. In animals also, such control and coordination are provided by nervous and muscular tissues. Does control and coordination also take place in plants? What do you think? Yes, control and coordination also takes place in plants. Let me tell you about this. Humans and animals have a nervous system for controlling and coordination of the main activities of their body. Similarly, plants have two types of movements. To grow a plant, we put seeds in the soil and water it. Then gradually it grows to a larger plant. Plants need water, air and sunlight to grow. A plant will grow in the direction of sunlight. They cannot survive for a long period without sunlight. A plant grows in two directions, one upwards above the soil and other is downwards within the soil. Both are essential for its survival. Plants do not move only upwards. They also have a downward growth. The plants bloom in the presence of sunlight and after sunset, the same plants will droop. So there is control and coordination in plants. There is a plant named Touch Me Not. Take a look at this picture. This is a plant named Touch Me Not. When we touch the leaves of the plant, the leaves start closing and drooping. Take a look at the short videos of this plant. Did you see that? The leaves of this very small plant fold up on a gentle touch. How does it happen? Let me give you a few examples of this. Let's take a sheet of paper and place it on the table. We will push the paper with our hand which will move the paper. So our hand movement is the stimuli resulting in the movement of the paper. Similarly, if we sit without any stimuli, we will feel sleepy. However, in an interactive environment, we will be active that will be the stimulus for our brain. Similarly, when we turn off the laptop and close it, will it start automatically without touching? No. It will start when we touch it and turn it on with our hands. Similarly, when the touch me not plant is touched, the leaves fold inward and droop because of the chemical reaction within it. Let me elaborate. As soon as we touch the plant, it closes its leaves because there is an electrical chemical reaction which is communicated to the cells of the plant and this causes the leaves to droop or close. So there is control and coordination in plants too. Take a look here. Movement due to growth. There is a movement in plants when it grows. Touch me not leaves fold when touched. These are movements in plants. Let me tell you about this. When a plant grows, it moves upwards and downwards. A seed when planted in the soil will germinate and the plant will grow in a vertical direction coming out of the soil and the roots will grow deeper into the soil. Some plants are climbers. Climber plants don't grow upwards as the other plants. 
climber plants grow upwards using the support of something. They climb on other plants or fences by their tendrils. Climbing plants attach themselves by growing around another plants. They need support of poles or walls to keep growing upwards. These plants climb in different ways. How do climber plants climb? Let me tell you. Tendril is a thread-like specialized stem, leaf or petiole used by climbing plants for support and attachment. Tendrils need support to climb. It is just like offering one's finger to a baby's hand. When the tendrils touch any object, they twirl around the object faster than the part which has not touched any object. This is the movement in plants. Growth in plants is directional. So we feel that plants move. How do they grow? Let me tell you. Keep a plant pot vertical in front of the window from where sunlight falls on the plant. We will see that the plant grows in the direction of sunlight. Plants get energy from the sunlight which help them to grow. Growth in plants is directional due to environmental factors. Environmental triggers such as light, water, air or gravity will change the directions that plant parts grow in. These directional or tropic movements can be either towards the stimulus or away from it. So this is movement in growth of plants. Let's take a look here. What is metabolism? Let me tell you. Metabolism describes all the chemical processes that go on continuously inside animals, plants and human body. What are these chemical processes? Let me tell you. The chemical processes occur in the living organisms in order to keep them alive and their organs functioning normally such as breathing, repairing cells and digesting food. For example, when something is burning around, we notice an odor that tells us that we are exposed to something in the air that triggered our sense of smell. The information from the environment transmitted to the brain, then chemical reaction occurs in the body. Our nose and brain work together to make sense of chemicals or molecules that are floating in the air. Then we are able to identify the smell which is coming from the environment. Moments before the rain, we sense an earthy smell which comes from the moistening of the ground. We identify the smells coming from the environmental sources through the chemical processes which happens inside our body. All the organs of our body function properly through these chemical reactions which take place in our body. Metabolism also includes the process that break down nutrients from our food and eliminate the metabolic waste from the body. This is how it helps us in digestion process. Another example. Some people do not exercise regularly due to laziness. And if they suddenly start working out, then after an intense workout, they feel soreness in the body. Because the muscles in the body were not used to work harder. And that is why it results in muscle soreness or stiffness. They feel a pull and discomfort in the muscles that goes away when they start doing exercise regularly and the muscles become flexible. This is also a chemical reaction that happens in the body. Similarly, these chemical reactions also occur in plants and animals.